Welcome to Cinemagna. In today's video, we will showcase the red carpet world premiere of the 2021 film titled House of Gucci. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. This is the UK. From visionary director producer Ridley Scott comes the true life dynasty saga House of Gucci, a riveting story of ambition, greed, betrayal, and murder set against the glittering backdrop of high fashion and money. House of Gucci is inspired by the shocking true story of the Italian fashion dynasty. When Patrizia Reggiani, an outsider from humble origins, marries into the Gucci family, her uncontrolled ambition begins to destroy the family tradition, precipitating a wild spiral of betrayal, decadence, vengeance, and ultimately, murder. The visually stunning film stars, Oscar nominees Lady Gaga and Adam Driver, as well as Al Pacino, Jared Leto, and Jeremy Irons. Salma Haig and Jack Huston complete the stellar cast. Gucci was founded by Guccio Gucci, who launched his first quality leather goods store in Florence, Italy, exactly 100 years ago. The story begins in the late 1970s, a pivotal period in Italian fashion history. As the Gucci family's global influence grew, so did rumors of financial mismanagement, restricted innovation, and a sagging brand. Guccio Gucci's two sons, Aldo played by Al Pacino and Rodolfo played by Jeremy Irons, run the family business. Aldo isn't about to give up leadership of the family business to his imaginative son Paolo, played by Oscar winner Jared Leo, who wants to be a fashion designer. Maurizio, played by Oscar nominee Adam Driver, Rodolfo's shy and overprotected scion, would rather study law than inherit a global fashion company. Then Maurizio meets and marries Patrizia Reggiani, played by Oscar nominee Lady Gaga, despite his father's objections. Aldo finds a sister in Patrizia, and together they persuade Maurizio to abandon his juridical goals and join the company, becoming the presumed heir. For a limited time, the Gucci dynasty can coexist. As Gucci's superiority in the quality fashion hierarchy is threatened, Patrizia prods Maurizio into a coup. The couple carefully and covertly take over the corporation after acquiring his father's position. Using false promises, they entice Paolo to sell his shares soon after Aldo is released from prison for tax evasion. They buy him out with the help of the family's financial guru, Donico de Sol. With total control of the company and new funding from outside investors, Maurizio begins to enjoy his newfound power and privilege. He turns on Patrizia and starts an affair with his childhood friend Paola Franchi. With her dreams dashed and her marriage in shreds, Patrizia becomes desperate. Pina Orima played by Oscar nominee Selma Haig and Maurizio form a perilous partnership when Maurizio files for divorce. When Maurizio hires an up-and-coming American designer, Tom Ford, a deadly power struggle erupts, and Maurizio is beset on two sides. Patrizia and the company's investors, aided by De Sol, strive to steal control of the fashion empire from the Gucci family's hands. Without much further ado, please enjoy the world premiere video.
wonderful event. I love seeing the people of London here. There are like hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people here. It's amazing to see. Hi guys! You know, Patrizia Reggiani, Patrizia Gucci, is uh, somebody that I didn't know until I read the script. And I really uh, went into a romance with the character as well as the script itself. And the truth is, I admired her strength. I also admired her weaknesses. And playing a murderer is hard because I inherently don't believe in the evil that she colluded with at the end of her life. Uh, and also, Maurizio fell in love with her strength. And I do believe in this film, you watch the story of a woman, a woman unraveling, and it's a story that only women really can understand in a way when it comes to her. But what's wonderful about House of Gucci, the film, is that Ridley Scott, the legendary director, he created something that is actually about a family, an Italian family, Italian family business, and what happens when a woman tries to infiltrate this business and the men shut her down. This cast is so amazing. I love my cast so much. Working with Adam Driver every day was absolutely thrilling. He's a consummate professional. He's so brilliant and smart and fun and goofy, and we had a great time working together. I loved working with Jeremy Irons. I loved working with Al Pacino. I loved working with Jared Leto. I loved working with Salma Hayek. I loved working with Jack Houston. I loved working with everybody. The, the movie, uh, it was an experience I'll never forget, and I have to say, also, my director, Ridley Scott, every day that I walked on set, he said, okay, what do you think this scene is about? And it wasn't because he didn't know. It was because he was interested to know what I had to say. And I feel that I'm a woman in a man's world, and having a man say, what do you think, is something that empowers me, and I feel loved. In a movie that has a lot of themes of wealth and patriarchy, it, this made us fly, and uh, I can't thank Ridley Scott enough. And Janina, his wife, uh, who is a producer on the film, she's incredible, and this film never would have been made without her. This is the second time we've worked together. We worked on uh, um, uh, The Last Duel together, and while we were shooting Last Duel is when COVID happened, so we shut down, and I went to New York, and that's when he sent me the script for, for Gucci. And at that point, I you know, had already worked with him for two months, and loved working with him. He's so, um, he kind of promotes spontaneity because he shoots with so many cameras and he, he's very much about energy and uh, momentum and these are all boring words. Uh, uh, um, but he, he's, you know, the best. He, he doesn't uh, walk on set with his resume with him. He's so open and uh, uh, collaborative. He, you know, he's he's the, the best to work with. I mean, it's incredible. We, we were just shooting this film in, in March and the fact that it's out and we're at the premiere and it's coming in theaters is incredible. Uh, I'm really proud to be a part of it. It was a special one. You know, there was a lot that appealed to me uh, with this role, working with Al Pacino, one of my heroes, Ridley Scott, another hero of mine. Uh, of course, Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Salma Hayek, Jeremy Irons, the cast, phenomenal. Uh, it was a really compelling story. I actually didn't know anything about this story initially, and I think a lot of people will be shocked and surprised um, by what they learn about Gucci. Uh, it's pretty wild. It's, it's a wild one. The cast is phenomenal. Like I said before, uh, Al Pacino really taught me what acting was all about from a young age. I've uh, really just been a, a huge, huge fan of his work. He's defined, redefined the, the what it is to be an actor, uh, and I absolutely love him. He's a sweetheart and perfect person to play my father. So uh, it was really special for me. Well, it was about six hours in the chair every morning for hair and makeup, and uh, it was an adventure. Uh, it took about an hour to take it all off, but you know that. Very, very uh, immersive experience. Uh, obviously a massive physical transformation, but I think the most important thing was the inside, is trying to you know, capture an impression of this person and you know, uh, the heart and the soul of the character. Well, Ridley Scott, he, you know, alien, gladiator, Thelma and Louise, the Martian, 
I mean, this guy has made some of the best films ever, and you know, as far as I'm concerned, he is just an absolute legend. Very, very lucky to work with him, and uh, yeah, I just, I just think the world of him. He's a master. Oh, I cannot wait for the UK to see this movie. My character, Pina, is, um, is Patricia's fortune teller and friend. And uh, I think uh, she has, there's a surprise in there. She has like a pivotal thing that she does in this movie that changes everybody's life, including mine. Lady Gaga was amazing to work with. And uh, I really look forward every day to come and play with her because you never knew what she was going to do. And I, I love to work with someone like that. I love that spontaneity and freshness and to be on your toes and you don't, you don't know where it's going to go the scene and really was always very welcoming to this kind of experimentation. I think this film is very entertaining and I think that, uh, you know, it's almost like a telenovela but very chic and very elegant and with amazing filmmaking but it's got, um, you know, all the intrigue and um, the greed and the murder and uh, it's fun, I think it's fun. The movie is entertaining. It's beautiful to premiere here in London because it's Ridley's country so it's a beautiful, you know, way to celebrate the movie and uh, and I, I'm particularly in love with London, so I'm really happy to be here for the premiere. Uh, well, I was very, very excited, as you can imagine. And then it was really interesting to see them work and see them build a character and see Ridley direct and the wonderful team surrounding him. I know he's very loyal and he's been working with the same people for a long time and they're doing an incredible job. So it's, it's really, yeah, rich. Well, sharing scenes with Lady Gaga and Adam Driver was really, uh, really incredible because they've been working a lot and they've, Adam and Lady Gaga are uh, interpreta interpreting, interpreting, yeah, all right, um, people who really existed and some of them still exist. So I think it was, uh, yeah, it was very interesting to, to see that work and to be part of it. Everything was a highlight. I mean, working on the movie was a highlight, you know. I think there's an, an incredible expectation, and uh, because because it is fashion, because it is Lady Gaga, because it is Ridley Scott, there's so many ingredients that make the people so curious, and not only curious but excited about the movie. So this is great. I am so excited, and this is my favorite venue, if I say so. So I'm so happy that this is where we're starting our Gucci premiere. Well, we've got a great story, an amazing script, and the best director in the world. Well, it's amazing. I, I mean, I'm from England originally, so I haven't been back in two years because I live in America. So this is a very fitting time to come back. It's amazing. It's crazy. It's beautiful. Ah! Amazing. Oh, hi, darling. Oh. Gorgeous. Sorry, I didn't look mean how to, amazing you, you look. look. At me, I didn't mean to interrupt his interview. No, I'm back. just like, are you kidding? I love it's this the best interruption so in the world. Much. You're the greatest. I love you. Uh, my character is Domenico de Soleil, who was the sort of family lawyer and ultimately the um, brains behind taking the operation out of Gucci and turning it into. Uh, he found Tom Ford. He sort of it. It's a crazy. Sort of a bit of the mastermind behind the whole sort of takedown of the Gucci family. I mean, I, I, you, I was like having to pinch myself. And not only was I getting to work with Ridley Scott, who was like top of the bucket list directors, but it, I mean, it was, I, I was with Jeremy Irons last night and we realized we've done four films together now. So it was like seeing him is like seeing like one of my old dear friends and he's just always such a treat. But then, you know, I worked with Al Pacino a few times and he's just a dear friend, so. It wasn't, it was like stepping in with like a real good group of actors who want to have fun and were taking risks. And it was just an exciting set to be on. It was fun, it was really great. I mean, I tell you what, working with Lady Gaga was pretty great. I mean, we have some fun stuff and I'm such a fan of hers. I just think she's a, not only a phenomenal, you know, singer and performer, I think she's just such a great actor. And um, yeah, she just, you know, she knocked me for six. She was so brilliant. She, 
I, I, you know, there was all the different styles of performances on this, and you know, she just stayed in character and was she was Patrizia from the moment I met her. I mean, that was the first time I've said hi to her as herself, so that's fun. I think they're gonna have a wild ride. They're gonna be surprised. It's a story that no one knew, and they're gonna be like, "How did I never hear of this? It's mad. It's crazy. It's crazy." Oh my God, it's so exciting. I can't believe it. It's wonderful. I haven't seen the film yet. I couldn't tell you one highlight. Everything was just extraordinary. Collecting the costumes, amassing them, seeing the archives of everyone, including Gucci, working with LG, working with Adam, working with Al, working with Jeremy, working with Jared, working with Sir Ridley, of course, which is the most important, um, and working in Italy which was the heart of where it all happened. Also bringing the story to the general public. They don't know it. Everyone in Italy knows it, but not the rest of the world, you know. Huge amount of research, and I spent the first year that I got the script um, working on it just in my downtime. I also went to Florence to the Gucci Museum, which was a fount of all knowledge. It was wonderful. So they had things like Gucci tennis anoraks, they had everything there. They had so much portraiture on the walls and film from the 40s. I could go on. Well, Lady Gaga was wonderful to work with, simply because she's passionate about costume, as you can imagine. And I was slightly nervous that we were going to have to dress her down and she wasn't going to be happy, but she wanted to dress like her mother who's a you know, pure Italian lady, which was great. And so we spent hours fitting, choosing the way, the necklaces, the earrings, the four bracelets, six rings, you know, three brace brooches, etc. Well, we were um, very fortunate to go through the Gucci archive and uh, we were allowed to borrow them, to send them to LA. They fit. LG like a glove. Amazing. And uh, we were then, finally we got them in February, we kept them in a strong room and we used two lots of them. There were about 15 outfits. We used two of them, but they all look fabulous on her. Well, it's, it's very nice to be back at work. It's very nice to be out in the cinema again. Um, still uh, fantastic weather. Crowd's very excited. A film, I think, which we should be very proud of. Ridley Scott, one of our great British filmmakers, um, who I first worked with 20 years ago, and who I've always really admired. And he's pulled a great cast together. Um, Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, um, Jared Leto, you know, fine people. And I think he's made a great, a great movie. So, it, and it's, it's great to hear everybody out and back and enjoying themselves. I think we, we've deserved it. Oh, well, I'm just one of the Gucci brothers uh, who inherited the firm from his father. Um, and Al plays the other one. And I, um, I, I run the firm in Italy. And my son is Mauricio, which Adam Driver uh, takes the takes the firm forward, let us say, without any spoilers. Well, I think it's a, it's a Shakespearean story, it's a tragedy, it's a, an epic, and Ridley gives a film that size and that grandeur, which is tremendous. With the excitement that we're hearing here, uh, I think the movie won't let them down. I'm thrilled to be in London. Uh, even though this is a very Italian film, Ridley being English, a lot of the crew members were English. I'm sort of a British-Italian mix. So it feels like a very uh, appropriate place to do this. Um, I wrote the script about two years ago, uh, and uh, it came to me through Ridley and Janina. Uh, they, they offered it to me. They, they talked to me about the story, and I knew the story quite well because I grew up in Milan. So it, was, uh, it was, truly was a dream come true for me to, to write this. Well, I grew up in Milan, and uh, my mother's in fashion, so I was very aware of the story. Um, and I feel like there's a lack of great fashion movies. So we're filling that gap. Working with Ridley Scott was, uh, was like playing soccer with uh, Messi. Uh, it was amazing. I idolized him, I saw all of his films, I grew up with Blade Runner. I've seen it 25 times, I think. Um, so to work with one of your heroes and to collaborate with one of your heroes is, is a thrill. 
they can expect an epic story of, of crime and intrigue and fashion and glamour. Um, it's a movie that we don't see very often. It's a huge story on a huge canvas. So it's, uh, it's quite exciting. I'm over the moon to be here in London for the UK premiere of House of Gucci. I always imagined my book could be a movie, but I never dreamed in a million years it would be a project on this scale with this caliber of talent. Ridley Scott is a master. Who could want for more? This is an epic saga of family drama, and it's timeless. And now, with this movie by Ridley Scott and this crew, it's taking this powerful narrative to another level. Well, I think they're going to love it. <laughs>